Hello everybody and welcome back to Unity Tutorial. So, today we're going to be looking into triggers and collision. Uh, so this can be used for detecting if the player walks through a invisible object, which could trigger either a cutscene or like a boss appearing or something in a game, or it could even be used for pickups, stuff like that. Um, so it's, you know, pretty simple. We did it in the uh, coin pickup, I believe, tutorial. Um, but I thought I'd do a separate video just to show you how this sort of works sort of better and I guess people that want to just see it instead of learning how to pick up coins but if you want to know how to pick up coins <laughs> look at the tutorial I'll either have I there aren't any annotations anymore either uh, it'll be in the description um, hopefully um, anyway let's start off by making a just a basic scene for now um, so I'll just start with putting a plane um, if you have the standard assets downloaded you can use the rigid body FPS controller which will give us like a first person perspective for this, just make sure it's above the terrain, well this plane, whatever, um, and I'm just going to grab a grass texture for this, there we go, that should work, if I hit play, hopefully this loads, there we go, yep that's working fine, um, so there we go, so let's just do a basic, um, let's set up a, okay the camera's going to, let's set up a little trigger, Thing. So if I make a cube here, so I'll just make a little trigger in between these two cubes. Let's just pop that there. Okay. Uh, actually, if I just set this scale to two instead, actually. So we're gonna make it. If you walk between these pillars, this will be our trigger. Um, and there we go. So this will be a trigger. So this is basically literally. One of the things we're going to be doing two things in here. Um, so first of all, to set this to trigger, we're going to be doing uh, is trigger, and the other thing we're going to be doing is adding a little script component. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave the mesh render on so we can see it in the scene. Um, but you can turn it off, and that's how you make it invisible. But obviously, you've got it named there, so if you're looking for it, you can do that. Or I guess you can um, you can highlight. Oh no, it doesn't come from highlights. Okay. So let's add a little. Comp let's put, make a script here. So we're going to create collision and triggers. I'm just calling it uh, that just for the purposes of this tutorial, you can call it whatever you like. Um, so if you're making like a door thing, I guess you can set this up as your door script. Uh, and let's open this up into Visual Studio. Okay, so this is fairly simple to do. So if you've got like um, Visual Studio set up correctly, like if you use the default download, I believe Unity now uses 2017, I'm still using 2015 I believe. Um, but I don't think there's too many major differences, although I could be very wrong. Um, void on trigger. Void on trigger. So you see here we have all these different um, types. You have the 2D versions of trigger enter, exit, and stay. So the differences are on trigger enter, when a player enters the object. Uh, you have on trigger exit, so when the player exits the, the trigger. Um, and then on trigger stay, so when the player is still within the bounds of that trigger. So if the player is still wandering around, within that cube we made, that's that where on trigger stay would be useful for uh, obviously enter for when you walk into it and exit when you leave that thing. So I believe enter only gets called once and so does exit, but stay can be called constantly because you are staying within the thing, you can check if it's that object that's staying in the uh, collider uh, or trigger rather. <laughs> um, so on trigger enter, we're just going to do this here. So we're going to just, um, quite simply, we're going to debug dot log and we're going to do other dot name we're literally just going to print the name of the object that's gone through the trigger now hopefully this works uh, and it should do so we're going to be interested in seeing the console down there so if we do that there we go rigid body fps controller has walked through the trigger um, and we can do various things here we can do, we can do um, I can show you the the exit and stay functions. So if I just do this, uh, so on trigger exit, on trigger stay um, plus is staying. Now I've added a space after that, otherwise it would join up the name to the is. Um, okay, has oh, has exited. Actually, I'll just copy this. Which I could have copied the whole line. Oh, well. Uh, has entered. 
um, and then this should hopefully so I'm going to enter I'm staying, you can see there that I'm staying within the collider uh, and I've exited so that's triggers basically um, so you can use that to do various things um, you know you can obviously detect you can put the coin pick up you can walk through and you know have something happen um, I could actually make it so that we walk through and something appears I guess um, but that's that now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this is trigger thing um, and then what I'm going to do is we're just going to, we're going to add some more elements to this script um, now obviously if you've got, so if you're planning on making that particular object a trigger then you only need these particular elements um, if you don't need the main ones I'd say that get used are probably the enter and stay um, I guess it can be used obviously to cancel a, a function or something like that um, or a procedure that you're going through within the code um, but I think if you're, you know, pickups and stuff like that, you really just want enter. Um, but if you want to detect if the player staying within a certain boundary, then there you go, you can do stay. Um, anyway, we're going to do the next element now, which is void on collision enter. So we have the same situation, we have enter, exit, and stay. Um, but you can see here, instead of using a collider uh, element here, we're using a collision element, because we're looking for the collision, not the collider. Um, so again, I'll just I'll just do this. Um, I just copy this, and I said has collided with me. But obviously, this is now a collision. So this here, I'll explain how this works. Um, so if you're a little bit new to programming, um, so we have our collider element, and this is the variable name. So similar to how you have int, health, you know, stuff like that. It's the same thing. So this is your name for um, that variable. Um, so that's quite simple. So collision dot. Oh yeah, this is going to be different, isn't it? Uh, collision dot transform. There we go. Dot name. There you go. Has collided with me. And I've got the space in there. Good. So hopefully this should work. Um, if I just put the mesh render there, we'll be able to see that we've collided with that. So if I do this, there we go. Has collided with me. So we've we've hit the wall. We keep hitting the wall here. So this can be used for I don't know forms of collision detection. Like if you just want to check that collisions are working or something, or not quite sure what it can be used for. Um, I'm sure there's ways. I think in, I guess in a racing game, you could use it to check if you're hitting the wall and you might want to push the car away from the wall or something. Um, there are various uses. Personally, I haven't really used it that much. Um, I've normally just used it for testing. Uh, triggers are definitely more useful uh, for me anyway. But um, so that's that. And if we just do the same as the others, we can. Um, check if we're still colliding or if we've exited the uh, collision. Exit. Stay. Um, has stopped. Colliding me. It is still. It's still. If I can spell, there we go. Oh, right, the right word anyway. Um, so this, I believe, should work. If I've got it right. So we're gonna hit. We're going to, we're still colliding. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've got to, you have to sort of keep walking into it and stuff like that. And then uh, if I move off of it, there we go. It seems like the stay is a little bit um, funny with that. Okay. Um, but there we go. You can detect if you stopped. So I think with the, the stay, if you keep constantly pushing against it. Although for me, that would have meant if this had stopped, then that would get called. But um, obviously not. Um, but there we go. So that's the introduction, or not introduction, that's the tutorial of triggers and collision. Um, so quite simple um, and obviously you can put all your other code in there that you want to do um, and whatever you want to use it for. If you'd like a tutorial based on this as to like you want to know how to do something with these or anything, any just anything in general that you want to learn with Unity, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get around to it. I have a few things that um, people have suggested which I'm going to get around to doing. Um, I know there's been a bit of a break since all the last tutorials uh, but I was finishing up college in there. I now have like six weeks of the summer, seven weeks to sort of bring up tutorials a couple times a week, hopefully. So if you leave stuff in the description below, I'll try and get around to it. Uh, I'm going to try and focus on stuff that's not really on YouTube that much. I mean, I'm doing these sort of intro uh, tutorials, but I want to try and do some stuff that is quite hard to find on YouTube. Um, I'm going to try so I can set up a nice car tutorial, but um, <laughs> Unity's um, car system is a little bit uh, annoying to use, but um, hopefully I'll get around to that soon. Um, as I think that would be really useful for some people, but there, there we go. Um, thank you very much for watching. 
If you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like if you didn't, and leave a dislike, and let me know in the comments below if you didn't like it. Um, but yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well, and I think you have to also click the bell thing now to follow the videos if you want to know if I uploaded something else. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.